Welcome to this video. Today we're thinking about blood groups. Now the key thing to remember is that the blood group is determined by the red cell. It is the red cells that determine the blood group. So let's think about a red cell. Here we have one here. As you know they're biconcave discs. Darker area on the outside and lighter area on the inside because the inside's thinner. Now on these red cells there are substances on the outside called glycolipids and it's these glycolipids that act as the antigens and an antigen is anything a recipient will recognise as being foreign. So this is blood group A and the reason blood group A is blood group A is because it has A antigens on its surface and we can represent these like this. These are those glycolipids I was talking about. They're genetically determined in a Mendelian manner and they are molecules on the surface of the cell, on the surface of the red cell, that are a particular shape. And for the purposes of this lesson we can see that we've made these group A antigens pyramid shaped. So this is blood group A because it's got A antigens on the red cells. Now as you know blood consists of red cells and the plasma because the cellular component floats in the plasma. And in the plasma, there are other large molecules called immunoglobulins. And these are globular immune proteins. And in the blood, there's a particular type of immunoglobulin called immunoglobulin type M. So Ig M, immunoglobulin type M. And these are the antibodies to the red cells of a potential recipient's or a potential donor's blood. Now the IgMs are large molecules, they've got a central bit like that. Then they've got five Y-shaped structures sticking out of this central bit. And on the each of, end of each of these Y-shaped structures, there are two arms, just like a body. So there's two arms on either, on the end like this. So this is the immunoglobulin IgM we've drawn here, present in the plasma. And the immunoglobulins, the ends, the hand part of these arms, if you like, are a particular shape. They are a particular shape. So the shape on the end of this one might be rounded like that. A rounded type shape. And we'll see why that's a rounded type shape in a minute. But what we've drawn here is an antibody. And this antibody, or these antibodies, are going to be present in the plasma of someone who is group A blood. So here we have group A blood. And in the plasma, we're going to have antibodies to group B blood. So in group A blood, we know it's group A because it's got A red cells. In the plasma, it's going to have anti-Bs, antibodies to B antigens. And if we just draw one part of the immunoglobulin like this, just draw one part, we'll see that this has got a rounded end. It fits into a rounded potential antigen. So that is group A blood. It has A red cells and it has anti-B 
antibodies of this immunoglobulin type M form, which we've simplified here. So blood group A is one possibility. Another type of blood group is blood group B. Now, with blood group B, the person's going to have red cells, of course. And what is it that determines someone's blood group? Well, it's the red cells that determine the blood group. And we know that this person has blood group B. So that means these must be B red cells. The erythrocytes have B. They are B. And they have, they, the reason that they're B is because they have B antigens on their surface. And the antigen we're going to denote as being rounded like this, if it's a B antigen. That's a B antigen there. It's the presence of these B antigens on the red cells that determine this person's blood group to be group B. But of course this person also has plasma and in the plasma there are antibodies and the antibodies in group B blood are going to be anti-A antibodies. And again, to simplify it, we can just draw one of the Y-shaped molecules. And these are A antibodies, so their end is going to be that shape. Which, of course, is the reciprocal shape to the antigen we, grew, we drew on the red cell, which was group A. So group A blood, A antigens, B antibodies. Group B blood, B antigens on the red cells. And this is an anti-A antibody. An anti-A immunoglobulin. So we've got blood groups A or B. Now, blood can also be group AB. Now if someone's got AB blood, of course they've got red cells, blood has to have red cells, and it is the type of red cell that determines the blood group. So this person who is group AB blood, the reason they are blood group AB is because they have AB red cells. And the antigens, the glycolipid antigens on the surface of the AB, well it's A, so there's going to be A antigens, and we draw those as that triangular shape. But this person is also group B as well. So they're going to have some B antigens on the surface of their red cells also. So it's blood group AB because they are A antigens and there are B antigens. And of course in the plasma, well there is going to be plasma in group AB blood of course, but the plasma in group A blood, AB blood, contains no antigens to A or to B. So AB on the red cell, no antibodies to A or B in the plasma. And the fourth blood group is group O. So we have red cells in group O, of course. They are the erythrocytes. Now, group O originally was group zero. And for some reason, in the English language, we corrupted it from zero to O. I guess it so it becomes letters, the A, B, O group. But the thing to remember about group O, it is blood group zero. 
blood group O or blood group 0. That means that the red cells are group 0. And we know it is the red cell that determines the blood group. So the reason someone is blood group O is because they have no antigens on the surface of their erythrocytes, on the surface of their red cell, or their red cells. But in the plasma, someone who is blood group O will have the immunoglobulins. And there'll be two types of immunoglobulins in a person who is blood group O. There will be immunoglobulins which are anti-A, and there will be immunoglobulins which are anti-B. So group O, no antigens on the red cells, but antibody A and antibody B, antibodies in the plasma. So that is what determines the four main blood groups under the ABO system. The antigens are A in group A blood, but there are B antibodies in the plasma. Group B blood is determined by the antigens on the red cells, type B in this case, but there are anti-A antibodies in this blood group B plasma. So the whole blood group is B, B red cells, anti-A antibodies. The AB blood, there are A and B antigens on the red cells and no immunoglobulin antibodies in the plasma. Group O blood, there are no antigens on the red cells, but there are A and B antibodies in the plasma. Now having worked out that information, we can now think about what happens during a blood transfusion.